Previously on the Angst Apocalypse, this man right here is Mickey Wilkerson. I think I won't mess you up, girl. Bolt over there, jump out, grab the stuff, and get the hell out of here. Okay, you win. There he is, old Logan. Whoa! I need a break. Yo! Chavez! Any special forces soldier with the surname Chavez is automatically gonna be called Dean. Aren't you like a soldier? Come on! He should be much better Ding right. than the last Ding we had. And now episode four. Alright, don't even know if this is gonna be a full episode, ladies and gentlemen. I just realized when I got home and finished the last episode after we picked up uh, Mr. Chavez here that um, as you can see up in the top right, the mission for Vic the doctor guy popped up in amongst all that and I completely forgot about it. So rather than run the risk of that mission disappearing overnight, I thought we might just quickly, you know, take Ding for his first run and go get it sorted. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, I need to actually put that fuel in the car. Not just in the car, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> every time. Fuel it, fuel it, fuel it. Come on. There should be a button where you can fast fuel, like how you fast search, but you know, you run the risk of spilling a bit of the fuel maybe, or making some noise. That'd be pretty cool. All right. So I know where we have to go, assuming he's where he would normally be. No reason to believe he won't be. Might do that thing, as always, where I'll skip forward to the destination unless anything interesting happens. So it's a decent length drive in the dark. Be back in a sec. All right, well, here we are. Back at the old warehouse that used to be my base in State of Decay 1. And it's dark as. Well, we got to go talk to Vic over here. Now, last time I played through the Heartland, we did this mission differently, so... I haven't seen my husband Isaac in weeks. Can you help find him? Yep. We lost our daughter, and he took it really hard. I'm, uh... I'm afraid he might have hurt himself. I just want Isaac to know that I forgive him. I'll tell you a few places to look. He's been avoiding me, but ah. maybe you'll be able to get close. Maybe I will. So yeah, last time... Uh, the, the short version of this is... Uh, this dude's husband... Isaac, I think is his name. Feels guilty about their daughter dying, so... He actually, when we find him, which we will very quickly, because I know exactly where he is, um, he will ask us to go back and lie to Vic and tell him that Isaac is dead. Now, last time I did this mission, I went back and I told Vic the truth, that Isaac wasn't dead, that he just wanted me to tell him that. And in return for doing so, Vic ended up joining my crew. And I understand that if you do it the other way around, if you do lie to Vic and say that Isaac's dead, whoops, then uh, then you get the choice to recruit Isaac instead. And he's more of a... Um... What the hell is that noise? It's either a waterfall or a plague heart. Wow. So more utterly tremendous shooting from me. Ah, forget it. Yeah, that noise. I'm guessing it must be a must be a waterfall. Yeah. See, there's water over there. Okay, cool. As long as it's not a play card, because I thought we got all the play cards. What's your story, pal? Please. 
I just want to be alone right now. Uh, Vic sent me he's worried about you. Yep, of cool. course he's worried. He's always worried. I'm the one who got our daughter killed, and all he wants to do is talk about it. Mm-hmm. I can't live with his suffering anymore. Please, just tell him I'm dead. It'll be a mercy to both of us. Okay. So now we go back to Vic. And this time, we will tell him that Isaac is dead. Which I'm guessing will make him very sad and I'll feel a little bit bad about it. But, wow, he's a, he was a nimble little chap, wasn't he? Or she? Oh, that got him off the car. But, whoa, crap. Once we've got Isaac, apparently we can specialize our medical setup back at home base to be kind of like plague cure oriented rather than straight up medical. Here. What? A little common courtesy where? What the hell? What's that about? Hang on. Oh, the Wilkerson's overrun. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Those are the the main story missions. As far as I understand it, they'll last forever. And if they don't, ah well, we'll deal with it. So Vic... Have you had any luck finding Isaac? Yeah, he did. I didn't want to believe this could be true. Everything I loved, it's all gone. There's nothing left for me here. Okay. But maybe I can start fresh somewhere else. Good plan. Thanks for your help. You're, uh, you're a good person. Oh, no, I'm really not. But I've heard Atlantic City is beautiful this time of year. Let me go and check that out. Look at that. I've upgraded us to a luxury barracks. And people are now feeling very happy and empowered, in fact, which is excellent. Now let's go back and see if we can't recruit ourselves a plague specialist. Not sure exactly what... Hey, if you've been listening out there, I found out my man is gone. Sorry to end the story this way. I'll be taking a trip, I think. Start over somewhere new. Good luck. All of you. Damn. That guy's really hurting. Oh, no, no, get out of the car, you idiot. Right. Now, Isaac, we lied to your husband about you being dead. I heard him over the radio. Come join me. I guess this means we're really moving on. Are you sure? Yep. I think. Yeah. I guess so. There's nothing left for me here. Cool. I can leave right now. All right. Ready to see your new home? Let's, uh... Let's just hope we don't run into Vic on the way home. That could be a bit awkward. Um, alright. I think I will make this just a really quick, short episode. Let's get Isaac home. And, um, we'll wait till the sun comes up, because this whole playing at night thing sucks. And dare I say we'll do the thing again where, unless something really exciting happens in the drive home, I will just pick us up when we get back to home base. Alright, well that it was seems a thoroughly like unofficial. Ever since I last filled up here. <laughs> You've changed the place a bit. I swear to God, Isaac had not said a word the entire trip home. That we have. It's an odd home, but it's home. These are the dicks. Bienvenidos. Thanks. 
I won't let you down. Yay. Rare achievement unlocked. Fantastic. Let's dump those materials. Damn, this base is huge. We've got Isaac home. Let's check him out. So, plague pathology. We get medical advice over the radio. That's pretty cool. Extract plague samples more often. Ah, that's cool. Okay. See what it's going to take to upgrade this. Uh, six, and we've got eight. Oh, that's a, uh, that's most of them. Uh, who cares? Let's do it. Plus, we still need to get the stuff we need. So we need more scraps of circuitry and more materials to build Chavez's facility. Now, how many... We've got seven, so we only need three more of those. Plus a crap load of materials. All right, well, maybe that can be my job overnight to go and get all the stuff we need. So there you go. We've recruited Isaac now as well. There he is. Isaac, welcome aboard. You're a strange-looking chap. Remind me of someone, but I can't think who it is. Anyway, uh, that's Isaac. And that's like mini episode four, shall we call it? The recruitment of Isaac as part of the angst apocalypse here at Niger's Gaming Channel. Catch you soon.